Imagine it's the day you have to record content. The camera's on, the mic is on, yet you're drawing a blank. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin'? Nikki, stop being in my business. Like, that's literally me today or this week. Don't feel bad, that was me last week. I thought I was experiencing burnout and I legit had no clue what to talk about. Now, I could have shut down everything and maybe tried the next day. But I tapped into what I call Inspiration AI. It's a set of steps that when I need content ideas, especially for YouTube, I do this. Now, this isn't only limited to YouTube, so take notes for your other platforms. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the steps that I take to get new content ideas, the AI tools that I use that will get you the content ideas, and where to store these ideas. This process has helped me create over a thousand posts and videos across social media. So let's get right into it. First one is Google Gemini. Now this one is actually a sleeper that many don't really talk about, but when I go on YouTube, I get inspired by some of the latest videos, some of the trending videos, or I'll go to actually this new tool called ViewStats that Mr. Beast actually created that talks about the outliers and some of the best videos that YouTube has. And I'll take the video and I'll put it into Google Gemini. So, so the latest one that I got inspired by was the one that Marquez Brownlee did talking about Apple's new AI stuff. And so I took that link and I put it into Google Gemini. Now, once I'm inside of Google Gemini, I'll actually put a prompt saying, hey, can you summarize this video as well as give me 10 content ideas that I can use? And then I'll drop the link inside of Google Gemini. And because Google works with YouTube, it actually reads the YouTube video and will give you the 10 content ideas that you requested. Game changer, because now this is giving me the idea straight from a video that actually works. So I may like one or two of those ideas. I'm not gonna like all of them, but I'll take one of those two ideas and I'll create content from it. Step two, getting ideas from ChatGPT. And to be specific, I'm using the app because of this feature. Wait, where, where is it? Boop. This feature right here, which allows me to talk to it. And I use that feature because I'm not a big typer. And so sometimes for me to describe what type of ideas that I need, I'm going to have to talk to it. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about instead of just telling you about it. What's up, chat? Um, so I need help. I'm having a bit of a creator's block. So I need you to act as a content strategist. And my audience are people who are trying to figure out how to use AI to create content and to be consistent. And so trying to figure out different workflows for it, trying to see how it really fits and not necessarily replace them. Can you give me 10 content ideas for this particular audience, uh, whether it's their pain points, whether it's their fears, um, or maybe some of the workflows. Sure, I can help with that. Here are 10 content ideas tailored for your audience. One, demystifying AI and content creation. Explain how AI can support rather than replace creators, highlighting its role in enhancing creativity and efficiency. Two, AI tools for content consistency. Review various AI tools like ChatGPT, Google Gemini, and others, showing how they help maintain a regular posting schedule. We Three, just talked about that. Step-by-step -step AI workflow. Create a detailed guide on integrating AI into the content creation process. So you pretty much get that idea, and then you can see right here, right? Then you can see that it also writes it out for you so you can store it somewhere. So I love using ChatGPT for the content ideas because I can talk back and forth with it. So if it has an idea that I like, I will go further into it, having further conversations where it's like, okay, I like that. Uh, now let's make a video script from it. Let's take some of the famous content frameworks that they have and create a video script for about a five minute video, a 10 minute video, a 30 second video, and then actually give me some ideas for tweets and threads. And so I'll go further into it. And I could only do that in ChatGPT because it allows me to have that conversation. Step number three, Opus Clip. So I feel like Opus Clip is a cheat code, especially if you have video content that's on YouTube, on your hard drive, maybe Zoom meetings, Google meetings, however you wanna go about it. So let me show you how I do it. So I did an interview with Caleb Johnson, shout out to him. And I put it into Opus Clip, not necessarily for it to clip up the different videos for me, for me to put on social media, which it does very well, 
but I use it for ideas because see what the AI is doing, it picks out the best clips. It gives you titles for it as well. And so there's stuff in that interview that's talking about being authentic, being a storyteller, all these great things that my audience would love. So I will take one of those ideas and then I would turn it into the format that I need it. So if I'm talking about YouTube videos, I'm going to turn it into a horizontal video. And now I have the idea and an actual clip for reference. So when I talk about storytelling or going it, speaking about being authentic, I could take that clip and put it into my new video. So this is like repurposing and giving me new content ideas all at the same time. Remember, you don't always have to create something new. You just have to repackage it a certain way. And the last step that I have is Notion. I love Notion. I use Notion for every single thing. So between Google Gemini, ChatGPT, Opus Clip, you're getting a lot of new ideas. And with Notion, you're able to put all those ideas in one place. This is gonna help when you have creator burnout. This is gonna help when you're just stumped. This is when gonna help when you need inspiration. You should be able to go into your Notion and get inspiration as well, instead of going always to other people's content. Plus it helps you keep track of the ideas that you've already used so you don't have to kind of double back on it. So quick recap, first step, Google Gemini, use YouTube videos and put it in there to get more ideas. Two, ChatGPT, talk out your ideas, give them who you are, the audience, and it'll give you content ideas that you can further have the conversations with. Three, Opus Clip, use some of the videos that you already have and allow it to clip it up to give you new content ideas and to use it as a reference. Four, Notion, to take all those different ideas and put into one location so you never have to go back and forth to all these AI tools. Now, all these tools are going to be linked in the description. I got you. And then let me know in the comments, which one are you going to use first? And yes, I got the links. They're all in the description. I get stumped a lot, to be honest with you. And these tools and these steps have really helped me stay consistent. I've not missed a day on Instagram. I stay consistent every week on YouTube. I'm constantly on threads. Shout out to all my threads family if you're out there. And remember, AI is not here to replace us. It's here to be a resource for us that we don't have to pay for a VA or we don't have to pay to be in a mastermind to get some of these amazing ideas for our content. So what do you think about my Inspiration AI framework? Which tool are you gonna use first? And then listen, don't forget, I got more videos that's gonna help you with your content. So go check it out. Boom.